So I just wanted to show you guys Cinnamon Sunset Sold and She Sunset Sold. Hello! Ha! Top of the morning, friends and family. How you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? I got my big snake, Betsy Ross. I'm gonna let her climb up in a tree today. Uh, Noah has secured the chickens. Noah, I gotta hand it to you, dude. You, like, you've really been taking responsibility with those chickens. You just kind of looked, like took ownership and have just been killing the game on taking care of them, bud. I'm really impressed with the responsibility you've taken off yourself doing that. Like you really, those are your chickens. Like you, good job, bud. Thanks. What's up, Jane? <laughs> Even though Betsy's big, she's kind of cute. Oh yeah, you can be big and cute. All right, you wanna help me get her on this tree? Up to the tree. Oh, okay. Uh, like you. She's kind of getting away. Ah, she's heavy. Ah, she's kind of controlling my body. Ah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now, as I mentioned before, last time I put a snake up the tree like this, which was Halo. If you missed that video, I'll link it right up here. Unless you're confident in your ability to get the snake out of the tree, which means basically being able to climb to the top of it if need be, uh, don't do this. I am 100% confident in my tree climbing abilities. I've got decades of experience climbing trees and it's not just climbing the tree, it's being able to get the animal down if need be, which we'll find out right now if I have to. Go ahead, Betsy. Looks like she's gonna move. I'm trying to get some nice shots of her. Today we are going to be doing the update on the what's going on with the clan stuff too, so. I'm pretty sure it was only a small matter of time there before my drone went into the tree, flying it on sport mode so it doesn't have any of the sensors on, but so that's why I can get a really good shot. But looks like all the propellers are intact. I think it just gave the tree a little bit of a manicure and I think we're good, other than the fact that it's getting darker. I want to see it fly up in the air. You want to see it fly up in the air? Yeah. Well, it just was flying up in the air, but now it's down on the ground because I crashed it. I did. This is really one of the more ideal places to do something like this. I mean, this tree, as you can see, it just kind of does a big rainbow, kind of goes over there and comes down here. And that's the way the snakes tend to go most of the time is just up and over the rainbow and right back down here. We don't have to do any climbing whatsoever, but I would love for them to give me one of a, a bit more of a challenge sometime and actually get up a little higher. I, I just think it'd be really cool to see them up in the tree. They're such good climbers. Hey T, what are you doing with my drone? You don't play with that, Moko. Hey T, what do you know? <laughs> anyway, yeah, just a fantastic specimen. Uh, Betsy Ross, the reticulated python. She's a purple albino. And that's about all you really need to know about her. And again, uh, I can't help but mention, if you don't have the utmost confidence in your ability to climb a tree, please don't do this. Still works. See if I can get her to use me as her perch.
<laughs> All right. Good to see you too. Don't you let those chickens out right now, okay, T? I will, Daddy. Okay, thank you. Well, I hope you guys really enjoyed that Cinematic Snake Saturday segment. I think it was so <laughs> good. So check it out. Sold our sunsets. Well, this this cinnamon right here is on hold, but definitely gonna be going. And uh, just once once she she's paid off, he's paid off. So I just wanted to show you guys cinnamon sunset sold, and she sunset sold. And so I wanted to show them to you guys before they leave, and then compare the cinnamon sunset and the Enchi Sunset, and the Enchi Cinnamon Sunset, while well, I still have all three so you guys can get a good look at them. Kind of dark blue eyes, and then that pattern that's just all ram jambled together. All the alien heads are so discombobulated, like there's so much going on inside the alien heads. And again, as you guys have seen before with our adult Cinnamon Sunset, the pattern just gets more contrast as they get older. Just cool. There is the Enchi just doing what the Enchi does best in Sunset, which is bring out those oranges in the sides. Just, just if you're working with Sunset, you want to have Enchi in there at some point. That's just my opinion, and just if you look at it, it's it's what it is. And again, the eyes, the, the nice Enchi influence on the eyes. We still get that a lighter blue with a lighter top side of the eye. It's just a, an amazing looking snake. This is my third year producing Sunsets, and it just has not gotten old at all. I don't think it ever will. <laughs> Going up, moving on up. To the east side. Yep, there they go. Two of them. So you can see the the plum colors, when, especially when you have the enchi next to the cinnamon. You can really see those plum colors coming out in the cinnamon. And uh, both of them have pretty clean bellies. There's there's not a lot of uh, pattern going on on the belly at all. That 
There's a bit of orange running down on the anchi, but the cinnamon is uh, pretty much just clean and, and nice. And then you bring in the anchi cinnamon sunset, and this dude just, I mean, you can see here next to the uh, anchi, it's just another another level of red and orange with the, the pinks coming in, the sides of the alien heads coming up those sides. And he's just getting more and more fantastic as he gets older. As you see, he's been eating like a beast too. He's, he's gonna be a real stud over here. But this, I just really wanted to give you guys a look at what the three of them looked like next to each other before they take off. It's kind of, you can kind of really see that, that difference between the three. It's the color, the color differences are pretty stark. You know, it's, it's, it's different. There's, they're very different from each other. It's very cool. I think I'm still the only person to produce Enchi Cinnamon Sunsets. I believe. I, I don't know that for a fact. If you know somebody else that's produced Enchi Cinnamon Sunset, please comment down below. I, I'm the only person that's producing that I'm aware of. Um, and this is my second time producing one and just... Man, can you imagine that with Clown Pied? Let's see if I get them all to kind of pose kind of nicely here for you guys. <laughs> not a chance, not a chance. Oh, uh, kinda, almost, for a second. I don't know where they so, they want to go, they so badly want to go. There we go. All three of them, all three of them, we got all three. Oh, they're on, they're on the run, they're on the run, they're out. Oh, it's all over. <gasps> now folks, I do gotta say I was quite surprised at the few amount of people that actually jumped in for this for the, uh, for the cleanse here. Which is okay, you know, I, was, I was honestly, I was expecting maybe like 10 people. Um, out of the thousands of people that watch the channel, maybe, but we got two. We got two. There's more than none. It's, uh, the, the reason I was surprised is that as we're heading into the, the cold season, having both the flu and COVID coming out of us this year, that more people would be interested. But uh, th we got two. Michael Baza, Jason Cabrera, Michael Baza of Baz Reptiles, and Jason Cabrera of Genomic Labs. I'm going to put a link for both of their channels down in the description. And uh, the, both their Instagrams are, are right here. You can go check them out. They're going to be the two brave gentlemen that jumped in. I, I believe Jason's doing it with his wife as well. So uh, thank you guys for taking interest in something we're interested in over here, which is taking care of ourselves, taking care of each other. Um, looking forward to it. You guys are both going to make my job easy for the Coco Blocks Shaker giveaway that you entered into by joining up with this. I'm literally going to have to just flip a coin. That's great. I, I love that part of it. So don't worry guys, if you didn't join up or if you didn't take the plunge, we will be doing this probably a few times a year, I would imagine. We can jump in and do this cleanse. So any of you that want to see what it's like, I'm on day one right now. This is day one for me and I'm, I'm feeling pretty damn good. Nine more days to go. You guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other. See you soon. Oh, most expensive unboxing I've ever done on the channel coming up on Monday. So. See you there.